Hey YouTube. So this is uh, me just coming on today to kind of give you guys an update about some of the stuff that's going on in my life. And um, I guess if I had to give myself a grade, I would give myself a, um, a low C to a D. And um, a lot of it has stemmed from my anger. You know, I'm really angry with Christians, especially, you know, Christians on the right. Um, people like Rick Wiles, you know, who I think are, you know, just doing more harm than they are, you know, good. And so um, I'm just kind of, you know, here, like I said, to do, you know, an update. So, um, it's been very hard for me to pray. It's been very hard for me to, um, focus, you know, on the Lord. It has been very difficult for me to, um, embody, you know, the lessons, um, that he teaches, you know, us. And so, um, it's just been a real struggle, you know, for me. So, um, a lot of the stuff that I thought that I had dealt with within my own character, um, has come back up. So like violent, uh, tendencies and anger and resentment. Um, I've got a lot of resentment against, um, white Christians. I have a lot of resentment against white Christians because, you know, I had to sit and listen to all of the, I was living in Indiana, you know, Indiana was one of the places that I was living in at the time when Bill Clinton, you know, was doing his mess. And so I actually had to listen and put up with a lot of Republican um, ire, angst, judgment, uh, conversation, you know, about the president and things that they thought, you know, that he was doing that was immoral and um, of low character. And so now for me to have to look at all of this stuff going on with Donald Trump, it has really made me um, a level of resentful. And so, um, I don't know, um, I don't know how to communicate, you know, kind of where I am. I, I'm, I'm fighting depression, um, and all of the other stuff, the anger and stuff, you know, I was telling you, you know, you guys about, and it's very, um, tough, you know, for me, I've not had an easy, you know, life. And I should have had an easier, you know, life, considering the country that I'm living in, the level of intellect, you know, that I possess, all of the opportunities and stuff that are around me. So, yeah, I'm having um, issues that a person like Donald Trump can be this level of successful in this country. And I can't even, you know, get a foothold. You know, the way that I, I, I've been able, you know, to have, you know, in this country. So I'm going through a lot. Um, I'm still letting go of a lot of, you know, my relationships that I've been talking about, you know, my previous, you know, videos. I finally let go of one. It's very painful. Very, very painful. Because I've done a lot over these years here in San Francisco, you know, really trying to build up a reputation and really just trying to... Um, trying to meet people on a human scale. And for some reason, I can't get that back. So I'm still going through that kind of stuff. Um, um, just to share, I, there's a person here that threw up her fingers. You know, she gave me the double bird. And I don't respond well. I don't respond well to that gesture at all. And I'm very disappointed, you know, in my response. I know why I did it. And it's really caused me significant, um, it's, it's caused me a negative. You know, there's a big negative that came as a result of me making, you know, that wrong, you know, decision. So I've been dealing, you know, with that, you know, as well, trying to reconcile and accept, you know, behavior that um, I thought that I had put, you know, behind me, but here I am. And then having to deal with, you know, other people's opinions about who they think I am and 
you know, all of that, you know, nonsense. And let me tell you again, if I haven't uh, potentiated this, you know, in the rest of my videos, yeah, um, I share and I talk about the things, you know, that are going on, you know, with me because um, this is my testimony, number one. And um, number two, I mean, I look at videos on YouTube, you know, all the time, and I think the quality is going down. I'm not seeing that level of witness. I'm not seeing the level of communication between professed believers. So that's another reason why I want to come up and just, you know, kind of let people know some of the stuff, you know, that I'm wrestling, you know, with in the, in the, in the flesh and in the spirit. So um, I'm never going to allow myself to be judged by a bunch of sinners, you know. So whatever opinion you may think that you have about what I'm saying on my videos, okay, that's fine. Everybody gets to have their own opinions, but your judgment, yeah, I'm not doing that because whatever it is and whatever problems I have going on in my life, I guarantee, I guarantee that you've got issues and you've got problems going on in your life. There are always things that we can improve upon. The Lord said that there will be no flesh that will glory before him. And so um, he showed me that over these last, you know, over this last year and a lot of the progress that I thought that I made actually happened. So, um, let me pause and see if there's something else I wanted to make sure that I add it because it's been a minute since, um, I've done a video and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back. Um, so I guess some of the other stuff, um, I want to talk about is with the bigotry and the racism and xenophobia and the misogy the misogynistic attitude um and behavior that i'm actually seeing um in society and i'm really at this point where white people you can really keep your opinion about what you think black people are about you know donald trump has really shown me that you guys lie and cheat and steal just as much as you know any other culture so as far as i'm concerned white people They definitely aren't any better than anybody else. But I don't know if I'm ready to call them worse at this point. But um, the scale is movable. The scale is movable. So white Christians, you just, there's nothing about you I respect. Um, I'm very happy to know the truth about Christianity. And I'm very sad that the rest of the world, you know, doesn't know because and this is one of the things that I actually wanted to put in here, too, is that the three religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, are literally murdering the rest of us. And we, as people who do not believe in Christianity or do not believe in religion, we have to stand up for the right to live free from religious influence. Because... People in religions have gotten to the point where they feel that they have the mantle to make other people live a certain way. And I know where that comes from, but we all have free will. We all have free choice. And I'm not going to let your religion tell me that I can't make the choices for myself that I want to make, whether you agree with them, you know, or not. So um, Christians who use the judicial system in order to facilitate their beliefs onto the rest of the people in society are dead wrong. Your beliefs about abortion, your beliefs about the Bible are separate to the Constitution. And so when I see... And I understand the mindset of, of Christians that are so stupid about the Bible and about civics that they are conflating these two things. And where they think that they're helping, they're actually doing more harm. And so the more I see this, the more unsettled I get, the um, just it's just a very uncomfortable time, you know, for me in it. I don't know. I mean, 
can I expect us to get more comfortable? You know, knowing as much as the word of God, you know, as I know. So um, I just I just want to be where I'm supposed to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And um, I, I just really pray for a renewed, you know, heart. I'm surrounded by such evil. That is very challenging not to let that evil, you know, creep inside. And um, I can't say that I've done the best job. So if anybody out there feels um, any unction, you know, from the Holy Spirit to pray for me, I actually would appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I would. So if I have another video, you know, to make, then I guess I will. But I look at this, and if it's not rambling, and if it makes sense, then I'll put it up. If not, then I guess I have to do it over. So thank you for your time and attention, and um, until the next video.